Hi, and welcome back. I'm Jim, and today we're going to look at injector position because when I designed these inlet manifolds uh, in the last episode, I drew the injector bungs on here, but I don't know whether they're the right angle. So basically, I've made a rig, uh, which is right in front of me, um, and we're going to do some tests. First off, I want to run with the actual uh, injector bung on the throttle bodies just to see whether I actually need these in the manifold. If I don't, then it makes it easier to make. Um, if it doesn't work, then we'll move on to this and hopefully we'll have a decent answer. So let's get into it. So it looks like a fire hazard waiting to happen, but this is the fuel injection system that it would like it be on the car, um, but just scaled down to fit on my bench. Now I've got a tank here, used to be in a fire extinguisher. It's actually built for a different project, but I've not done that yet. So I figured I'd just use it for this. Uh, but from that tank, we'll go through a in fuel injection pump, just a basic off the shelf unit I bought off Amazon. Uh, now I control that with a switch. Uh, I put a fuse in there just because I wanted a little bit of safety. And that goes through a four pin relay as it will be on the car. Um, so what next? We come out of the fuel pump, down this pipe and to the fuel rail, which is the CBR's original rail, just cut in half because I can't use that as it is anyway. And I'm using the CBR injectors because I haven't done the proper sizing for that yet. Um, but it'll all work as it needs to. Fuel will flow through it and we can do some testing. Uh, I've got a device down there that will alter the amount of pulses so you can do like low, medium and high. Um, and then from that, we'll go out of this pipe to the fuel pressure regulator, which is set to 40 PSI, and then back to the tank. And then that just keeps cycling around till I've run out. And that's it. So you can't use petrol for this because of the flash point. So that when I'm injecting this, if anything triggers it, then basically I'm going to go up like Joss Verstappen. Is that fuel splashing? So what I'm using is white spirit. It'll flow through the injectors, same way petrol will. It'll act the same way as petrol. It's got a higher flash point, but it's better than water because what you don't want to do with like running something like water through it is that you don't want to seize the uh, injector over time because it's going to have a bit of rust buildup in it. So that's why I've used that. Um, I will try and do this in as controlled way as I possibly can, but just got to be safe with it. So it's a bit frustrating, but I think the reason I'm getting the, I say the fuel, but I'm getting that run down here is because I've got the injectors positioned with the center line of the, the port. But as you can see, the runner's coming in at an angle and I think the injector is sort of far. I think there's just not enough room there. So I'm going to go far up the CAD. I've got a few ideas um, on how I can fix this. And we'll go from there. Starting with test B, what I've done is keep the injector position where it is, but I've put it much closer to the flange. Uh, I'm hoping that should stop it from the, in the fuel flow from running down the inside. That way it's firing into the port. It's much So test C was a bit of a fail because what I thought I'd do is run it, the injector in line with the, the flow of the port. But as you can see, it puts the injector bosses uh, at an angle to each other, so I can't get a fuel rail to fit. Um, so I've just cancelled that. So for test D, what I've done is put the center line of the injector to the left or the outside of the center line of the port. 
uh, so I'm offsetting it closer to the uh, to the side that it was running down on. I think that might work, but I'm not sure. And finally, we've got test E, which is the mirror of test D. So this is putting the injector on the inside of the um, the center line. So technically, the injectors be close together, but it might offset it running down the inside of that wall on the outside of the port. It's confusing, but it sort of makes sense. So it's been a couple of days. I managed to get all three printed up. Really happy with how they come out. Um, I've run out of the clear filament, unfortunately, so I've gone with this fire truck red. Now, I'm hoping that doesn't mean I'm going to start, set fire to them. But we'll find out as we're going to try. Uh, not try set fire to them, we're going to try them out. So let's get it loaded up and see what the results are. So test B is showing the same problem. I'm still getting that dripping, so the position's not right. So let's move on to uh, test D, which is because it's closer to the, that side wall, it's dripping even more. Um, don't know why I thought that was a good idea. And then finally, we've got test E, and I think this is working quite well. Not getting any dripping down the side. Um, that's just stuff off the board. It's okay, but I think we might have done it. <laughs> So it's been a couple of days. I managed to get all three printed up. Really happy with how they come out. Um, I've run out of the clear filament, unfortunately, so I've gone with this fire truck red. Now, I'm hoping that doesn't mean I'm going to start, set fire to them. But we'll find out as we're going to try. Uh, not try to set fire to them, we're going to try them out. So let's get it loaded up and see what the results are. So as I've been getting all this stuff ready for, for the video, I've gone back and had a look at the manifold. Um, so I've got the original and done a, a cross section on it, showing that the angle is like 19 degrees and how far it would actually fire the fuel into the port, which is 52 mil, about two inches thereabouts. Not bad, not brilliant. Because one thing I noticed when I was doing test E is that how close the the fuel flow was to the back of the flange, which is only just into the cylinder head. I mean, it's if you look at these two compared to each other, angle's gone up nine degrees and it's bought it in, th um, what, 20 mil, 19 mil, which is a big difference. But having a play with this, so what I've done is reduced that angle, uh, bought the injector port a lot closer to the back of the flange where it meets the cylinder head um, and look at the difference it's made 100 mil just over four inch in which is a long way into that port that's actually a good contender um, maybe i need to have another think about this but let me know what you think anyway back to the uh, last bit Not at all. Um, and it puts me in a really awkward position because I don't think I'm going to get much more of a slack. I'm not going to be able to reduce that angle much, really. So it puts me in an odd position because I could get these manifolds made. Um, I had looked at making my own. I even made, uh, where is it? I made these cutting jigs, um, which cut the runners. So I've got... The, got these made up but i took them to a friend of mine who um i was hoping would have done the welding for me with it being aluminium because i'm not set up to do that i've never welded never tig welded aluminium tig welded stainless but not um not aluminium and it threw up a few problems um some of which i hadn't even noticed so where the the ports are um and the the mounts to the cylinder head they're quite close almost too close so there could be a bit of a, a weld bead in there which means i might not be able to clamp the flanges down to the head enough and that's just a design thing from the cylinder head really i mean when you've got a cast aluminium manifold you don't have to worry about welding um the but the injector position is still not going to be right really um so like i say it puts me in a 
bit of position because I could get the manifold CNC machined. Haven't had any prices for it, but you realistically we're talking a couple hundred quid a piece, um, which is a fair amount. Um, another option is that I go down the route of Jambies. So get a twin 40 manifold. Easy, can be done. Um, looking out for some currently, just to get a price. Um, we put some Jambies on. Inject position is already correct. So that way I haven't got to worry about the linkages with the CBRs. I can just do that, draw a line under it, make a start on the exhaust. Or, now this is an old design that I did not long after I bought the first printer, just wanted to try an idea out. And this was a straight leg. So instead of the, the runners going at an angle, like this one, these are straight. So this would be a single throttle body, like a modern, um, modern injection motor, really, is that you've got a single throttle body, as many injectors as you have cylinders, and that we go down that route. The injector angle might be better. I could tweak this, see what I can do with it. I won't have to worry about offsetting because it's straight, so they can be in line. It'd be great. And if I did that, I could, in theory, either supercharge or turbocharge. Now, on cast pistons, you could get away with 7 or 8 PSI if you drop the compression to about 8. Um... If you wanted to turn the boost up, particularly on a supercharger, I think that'd be more problematic because you're creating more mechanical drag and uh, heat. Whereas with a turbo, you could intercool it. You have if you turn the boost up, the in, the inlet charge temperature won't really change. But then you've got a big old turbo hanging under the inlet manifold, which is just going to be radiating heat from that cast iron um, uh, exhaust housing. So I'm not entirely sure which is the best way to go. So if you've got an idea or an opinion or whatever else, um, try and keep it constructive, please. I know I'm a knobhead, but I don't need to be told that. Let me know what you think. Because I'd actually be genuinely interested um, because I've been pondering this for the last couple of days while I've been drawing these up and whatever else. So yeah, I think that's where I'm at with it. I want to stick with it. I think there's potential here but it's how much potential. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon when we do some more injection stuff.